Rocky Erickson, legendary vocalist, originally with the 13th floor elevators. They moved from Texas, from Austin in the 60s to San Francisco. And you see a lot of old posters from that era with 13th floor elevators on the poster. Then he eventually moved back to Texas and what a powerful vocalist, just uh, amazing. Uh, you couldn't uh, you couldn't turn away the passion and a little a little intense. He was having a hard time at this point in the this is probably oh geez uh, 1990 92 even if this could be it'll say down here and they wanted to do a benefit for him. And they were hoping he would perform, so his name is on here as well. And there's some other great people playing, but as a as an homage or a, a kind of a, a hearkening back to his days with the elevators in San Francisco, and before that in Austin, I wanted again a kind of a psychedelic look. In fact, they were reputedly the first band that ever called themselves a psychedelic band. The they had a, an electric jug player, uh, Tommy Hall, and he had a pickup in this jug, and he would just, you know, blow into it and make real weird, uh, spooky noises. So if you ever listen to them, if you hear the old elevators, uh, you're gonna miss me. I think was their big, big hit. Look, listen for that jug, electric jug. But this this uh, poster has become fairly popular predominantly because of Rocky himself, or primarily uh, because of Rocky, because he's a much beloved performer and he's had some struggles in his life. And as we tape this, sadly he just died uh, less than a week ago, uh, which is really a great loss.